Hey there drone fans, Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's clip, I'd like to discuss the announcements this morning from DJI at the IFA 2017 show in Berlin, where they introduced two new drones and a firmware update for your Spark that further expands its capabilities. Their first announcement was for a Phantom 4 Pro Obsidian Edition, which in essence takes the Phantom 4 Pro we've come to know and love and changes the case to a shiny black high-tech look. I'm sure it looks like something out of Star Wars, like a Darth Vader quad when it's up in the sky. The second thing they changed was they upgraded the material the actual gimbal and camera are made from to a high-tech material that's got a lot more durability. The second announcement, which I find a lot more exciting, is they're expanding the Mavic Pro line and have now released a product called the Mavic Pro Platinum, which is an upgrade from the original Mavic. Now, I'm going to spend a lot of time in this clip discussing exactly the difference between the two to see if it makes sense for you to make that purchase. But essentially what they did was change two fundamental engineering perspectives on the quad. They're using high performance blades, and the good news is the blades they're using on the Platinum model will fit your Mavic, so I can't wait to get my hands on those blades and test them out. The second thing they did was they modified or upgraded the ESC, the electronic speed controls, inside the quad to a new style of uh, controller, and I'm going to talk about what the differences are. But those two changes on the quad give you an extended flight time, so the new Platinum version should fly for 30 minutes, that's an increase of 3 minutes over the standard Mavic. It's also also a lot quieter and if you guys know that I've talked before about how noisy the quads are and how annoying that can be to people when you're flying anything that makes this quieter is a good thing so I'm going to talk a lot about that once we finish this introduction the third thing they did was release a firmware update for your spark and that's a free upgrade and it enables you to take these spherical photos so if you're involved with any kind of VR or augmented reality or just want to have the ability to put this fishbowl shot up of a panoramic view of some beautiful location you're shooting that'll become available when that firmware upgrade hits and again that's a free extension to the firm we already have on the quad. So what I like so much about these kind of announcements, even though they're not epiphanies, it's not a brand new drone, they're sort of modifications or upgrades to products that are already out, I love that a company is constantly innovating and in the labs they're making these little strides and changes in technology and releasing those out to the public. So when you buy their products, you're always getting the latest and greatest of their technology. I can't wait to get my hands on that Mavic Pro Platinum or at least get my hands on the Blade because I think it's sold out as far as a quad goes, but I'll keep trying and if I can get my hands on one, I'll definitely do a review of it. But the next section in this clip is gonna be to go through the two engineering changes they made on that Platinum product and explain why those blades are different, how they help reduce the, uh, the noise that the quad produces when it's flying, and increase the efficiency of the quad. I'll also talk about that new ESC that's in there because it is a step forward for uh, DJI to include that type of uh, electronic speed control in their quads, and I think it's sort of an indication of where they're going to be going with their next quad, which I predict will be the Phantom 5, which I'm going to do a clip on. I'm actually working on a clip right now to talk about what features I think will be in that Phantom 5. So stay tuned, and I'll get into the details of the differences between the Mavic Pro that's out today and the Mavic Pro Platinum that was just released. In this section, I'd like to cover one of the two fundamental engineering changes that DJI is bringing to market with the brand new Mavic Pro Platinum, and it has to do with the propeller. Now, on any given day, the average flyer will complain about two things on a regular basis. They want their quad to fly longer, and they'd love for it to be quieter and a small change to the propeller design can have a positive impact on both those factors. Now what I've got in front of me here is the standard Mavic Pro propeller. And if you look closely, it actually ends in a very sharp square edge over here. When you compare that to the new propeller on the Mavic Pro Platinum, you notice the ends actually extend up a little bit and tilt back. And that's called a winglet. Now that's nothing new, that's been out for a while. All the commercial manufacturers of aircraft have tons of patents on different designs for winglets based on the plane that they're designing it for. NASA's done tons of studies that back up the data that they really improve the efficiency and quiet down the blade. So I was thinking to myself, really how can a small design change like that really have that type of impact? So I had to go back to the basic physics behind an airfoil. And if you're not familiar with that, the way an airfoil typically works is that you'll notice the top surface of an airfoil has a bit of a curve to it like this, and the bottom is a little flatter, which means as this slices through the air, the air that travels over the top of it has a longer distance to go, so it's got to move faster than the air traveling underneath it. When it travels faster like that, it creates, for a second, a low-pressure system above it compared to the high-pressure system below it. Now, nature doesn't like that. Nature likes equalized things, so nature is going to force that high-pressure below into the low pressure above it, lifting the wing. That's how you get lift inside the actual aircraft. Now, the other thing that's going on, this is where the winglets come in, is that that low pressure air on top and the high pressure air underneath are being forced out to the edge of the wing based on centripetal force. So as this spins, it's forcing the air out to the end. 
What happens when that low pressure air on the top and the high pressure air at the end meet at the end? Chaos ensues. You get a vortex out there where the equalization is trying to take place and there's a ton of churn right at the tip. Now, the problem with that is two things. One, this has got to fight harder to get through that churn at the edge. So you're wasting efficiency in the actual motor. You're burning more electrons by forcing it through that churn. The second thing is that equalization process, that vortex that forms out there, is a noisy endeavor. So you've got a ton of noise out there. What ends up happening is if you put a winglet at the end of this actual blade, it allows that air on top to slowly slide up that winglet and back, and it gives it a smoother blending, if you will, behind the wing. So it reduces two things. It reduces the churn that this prop typically has to force itself through wasting energy. It also reduces the noise that's created because you don't have that churn out there where the vortex is trying to equalize. So winglets do that just by extending that wing up and back a little bit. Now again, the design on the Mavic, uh, Mavic Pro Platinum, <clears throat> was designed specifically for those blades. To my knowledge, it's the first time that any quad manufacturer has added winglets to their blades. I may be wrong on that. It's certainly the first time I've seen DJI do it. And now the fact that they did it means that I bet a lot of other companies are going to copy that. You can see a lot of clone designs come out with that winglet on the end. But for me, what I like about that is it takes the propeller that is a pretty standard affair, adds the winglet to it, and gives me efficiency, which means I can fly longer with the same battery inside the quad. It also reduces the noise. Now, just to give you some rough numbers, NASA's done studies on this, and they've averaged out those results. They found that by adding the right winglet to the per to the wing that you're using, you can reduce the noise by 6.5% on average, and you can make it more efficient by 5%. So just by changing that small design, I'm actually improving the efficiency and lowering the amount of noise that the quad creates. The good news for us Mavic owners that already have the Mavic is that the propellers used on the brand new Mavic Pro Platinum will fit on the Mavic. So I'm hoping that once those propellers are available again, because they're sold out right now, I'll get a couple of sets in and I'll actually do some testing against it. I'm sure that I can see the noise reduction by using a dB meter and seeing what kind of noise is generated. And I'm hoping I get a little better efficiency out of the quad as well. I don't expect I'm going to, going to get a full three minutes of extra flight time because the second engineering change, which I'm going to talk about next, really has a bigger impact on that. And that's not something you can sort of backdate to the quad that you own already. And I'll get into that in the next section. But the first major change is the propeller design, adding those winglets on the end. And again, these guys are brilliant at squeezing every little bit of efficiency they can out of a product like this. And I'm constantly amazed when I look at these kind of engineering changes at the depth of knowledge they apply to this, this hobby that I happen to fly with this quad. So stay tuned and I'll talk about the second improvement in the next section, which has to do with the electronic speed control. In this next section, I'd like to discuss the second engineering change that DJI has implemented on the new Mavic Pro Platinum, and it has to do with the electronic speed control, or ESCs, inside the quad. Now, if you don't know what an ESC is, it's essentially a very specialized circuit that has individual responsibility for control and rotation of a motor on the quad. Now, since the Mavic has four motors, you've got four ESCs built into the quad that are mounted on the motherboard inside the housing. Now, what's different about the new Mavic Pro Platinum is that up until now, most of those controllers were what were called brushless DC controllers that would send pulses to the motor to get it to spin, and those pulses were a square wave. And I've got a waveform up there to show you what a square wave looks like. It's actually a trapezoidal wave, but let's call it a square wave. The problem with a square wave is that it's very noisy, it's very inefficient. It does deliver great torque, but being noisy and inefficient isn't something you want in a quad. You want to have it be as efficient as possible. So what's changed now with the Mavic Pro Platinum is they've included a brand new type of controller that uses what's called an FOC or field optimal control controller that depends on a sinusoidal wave. So that second waveform I've got that's got a really smooth top on it is the sinusoidal wave. Those pulses now are being sent to that motor phase shifted by about 120 degrees to deliver a much smoother rotation pattern inside that actual motor. It's also much more efficient and it's quieter, which is great. Now that ESC is also doing a ton of other complex calculations because as that rotation takes place, you're dealing with centrifugal force inside the magnets against the electromagnets, and it's making constant adjustments on both the phase and the amplitude of the pulses it's sending to that motor. So that ESC is a very, very smart part of the quad, and by upgrading it to one that uses this FOC technology, that seems to be the wave that a lot of the newer technologies are moving towards. And building it into that Mavic Pro Platinum means that you've got the latest and greatest of those controllers, and you're gonna get a much smoother delivery of those pulses and that current to the motors, which is gonna guarantee that it's gonna give you the best efficiency possible, which translates into longer flight times and less noise. So it's a really good thing. The problem is, 
You can't backdate the Mavic Pro you own today with those new controllers, because again, they're mounted to the printed circuit board inside. So that is one advantage. If you buy that new Mavic Pro Platinum, you'll get those new FOC controllers, which will give you the efficiency you need. And again, that's where they're getting that extra three minutes of flight time, because the batteries are the same between them. So anyway, that's the major change they made with the FOC controllers. I had a few closing thoughts about the DJI announcements today, and maybe a couple of recommendations if you're still in the market for a quad. So I'll start off with the Phantom 4 Pro Obsidian Edition. To be fair, that's really just an update cosmetically over the original Phantom 4 Pro that's been out for a while, but honestly, you can't go wrong with that quad. Right now, that Phantom 4 Pro is the leading edge of prosumer drones from DJI. Unless you make a step up to the Inspire product, that's the best you can buy. And the fact that they now offer it in white and black gives you an additional choice to pick the color that works for you. And honestly, that black is really sexy. That's the one I would have gone with when I made my purchase. So if you're in the market for a quad of that caliber, you can't go wrong with that Phantom 4 Pro. It's got Lightbridge 2 technology in it, which guarantees phenomenal distance with rock solid connections. It's got a fantastic camera for pictures and video. It's got all kinds of sophisticated software features built in, follow me mode, tap to fly, circle mode. You can't make a mistake with that quad. So if you're in the market, that Phantom 4 Pro now available in black with that obsidian finish is just a really cool looking quad. On the other end of the spectrum, you've got the Spark with the firmware updates out for that. I love a company that's constantly innovating like this because most companies, when they push out firmware, it's not including new features, it's to fix bugs with the particular product. So when I get a firmware update, whether it's a piece of technology that has to do with networking or my computers or whatever, it's always to patch a problem that they miss somewhere in their development. With DJI, I'm sure they're fixing problems as well, but I love the fact that every time a firmware comes out that's new for a quad, it's got additional features and functions that expand the use of that quad. How cool is it to have bought a quad six months ago or a year ago and constantly have new firmwares being released for it that improve the quality of that particular quad, whether it expand the feature sets or give you new ways to take pictures or new ways to control it. Just a wonderful thing, and it's free. So when that Spark firmware update comes out, download it and go out there and fly. Take those spherical photos, download the new DJI Go app so you can take advantage of all those feature sets. But again, what a cool company that's coming out with these updates through Farmer. So good on them for that. Now I'll talk about the Mavic Pro Platinum. I think that's a very nice quad, and I think two major fundamental changes they made between the high-efficiency propellers and the new controllers that are in there that use the sinusoidal wave, which is again is the new style of controller that a lot of the RCs are going to, were major improvements in that quad. Now, having said that, I don't think it's a reason to upgrade from an existing Mavic Pro. If you've got a Mavic Pro today, go out and fly that Mavic Pro. Don't even think twice about that Platinum Edition. If you've been on the fence about the Mavic Pro and you've been thinking, I want to buy it, I should get in the market, I don't know if I should wait, is there a Phantom 5 coming, is there a new Mavic coming? The new Mavic's here. That Mavic Pro Platinum is the new Mavic. So if you've been on the fence, get off the fence and buy the Quad. If you can't afford the Mavic, buy the Spark. Because my recommendation to anybody that ever asks me, which quad should I go for? The one you can afford and the one you can go out and buy today. Because the minute you put this thing up in the air, if you've never flown a quad before, it's going to change your life. It's going to change your perspective. I can't tell you how relaxing it is to go out in an afternoon, put a quad up in the air, fly it over a lake, fly it over the Pine Barrens, and just enjoy the afternoon with myself, my wife, my kids. It's just a wonderful day. So if you're laboring over which one to go with, I love that Phantom 4 Pro. The Obsidian Edition is the one I'd go for. If I couldn't afford that or I wanted a smaller quad, I'd go with the Mavic Pro Platinum. But if I already in the Mavic, I'd keep the Mavic I have. And if I couldn't go with the Mavic, I'd buy the Spark and fly that. So those are my recommendations. I know I don't have any of these quads in hand. I don't think anybody does at this point. I would love to get one of these to do a review for you guys. And I'm doing my best to talk to DJI to try to steal one from them or at least purchase one off the website. If I do get one, expect a ton of clips coming from me. So all the stuff I talked about today is just research that I've done on other quads and some of the engineering behind it. I hope it was helpful. I really enjoy putting these clips together for you guys, and I've had a ton of questions since early this morning when the announcement came out, so I kind of rushed to get a clip together for you guys. Expect me to do follow-up clips on all the technologies I've talked about so far and all the quads that I've mentioned in this clip. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching, and I really appreciate the support I've been getting from you guys. I'm watching the subscriber count grow every day, and there's a lot of positive comments out there. And as I always say, if you guys are finding value in these clips, I'll continue to produce them. So again, thanks very much, and until next time, happy flying. Mm -hmm.